1984, um, we had a major, major strike uh, against General Dynamics at that time. And uh, of course, we were a lot younger then, a lot rowdier, and so this was a major strike. A strike unlike I've ever seen before. Um, as a matter of fact, we made CNN news headlines, so that tells you a lot about it. Um, you know, we were young and uh, we were there to fight the fight. We were there to fight for what was rightfully ours. It wasn't that we wanted everything, it was just that um, they were making good money. We were the number one aerospace industry in the world, and so all we wanted was our fair share, a, pie, a piece of the pie. Yeah, I've seen, there's been, I want to say I've been on strike with uh, probably two with General Dynamics, two with Lockheed Martin, but um, yeah, over the, the, the previous years, I've seen some changes in the strikes. Uh, like I said, the first one was a major ordeal, the 1984, I mean, you know, it's, that was like a riot. <laughs> <laughs> so as the years went by and um, we went on to the next strike, uh, we just always continued to fight the fight. But as, um, as we got older, I think we became more mature and uh, we saw that uh, being so rowdy didn't quite uh, benefit us as well. And so we learned to uh, control ourselves a little bit better, and uh, but we still fought the fight, and uh, we will always continue to fight the fight, you know, for what's rightfully ours. Because as my aunt stated to me previously, and my mentors there at General Dynamics, the older generation, when I came in, I was young, and they taught me, um, you know, don't ever give up because uh, you have to continue that fight to fight what's yours and what's rightfully yours.